Hi, my name's Kelly. I'm a forensic psychologist and CBT therapist. Today I wanted us to have a think about fire setting, so deliberate fire setting. So there are a number of theories and I'm actually going to do another video talking about the theories in more detail. But just to give you an overview that when we're looking at deliberate fire setting that this can be a combination of psychological, environmental and social factors that can lead an individual to engage in this type of behaviour. And, and when we look at this, that within the, the social, the psychological and the environmental, that there is also a mix of internal and external factors to why someone could maybe engage in deliberate fire setting. So if we think about the, the different factors, that they can all play a critical role in shaping the actions of an individual. So if we start off thinking about with psychological factors, so this could include maybe someone who has difficulties regulating their own emotions. It could be about someone who finds it really difficult to actually control their impulses to do certain things. Or it could be looking at it from maybe a more diagnostic standpoint. But there are more thinking about that there are psychological underpinnings that can drive the fire setting behaviour. And without kind of delving into different psychological um, or mental health diagnoses, I think sometimes it can be more important to look at the, the traits, looking at the, these individual traits, the psychological factors that could be influencing fire setting. So as I said, maybe impulsivity, or it could be about really strong emotions and finding it really difficult to maybe manage their emotions, but also to express them in a different way that doesn't involve fire setting. So it could be about someone who really struggles to express maybe anger or frustration and even thinking about people who are feeling anxious or maybe isolated. And then in some cases that fire setting can actually be a way to release tension, to release emotions and to also to express emotions that maybe people haven't been taught how to deal with or know how to deal with. And the act of actually starting a fire can sometimes increase that sense of power, feeling more powerful, feeling more in control, and sometimes even providing relief from those internal struggles. And then if we're thinking about maybe the, the social or the environmental influences that can shape someone's engagement into fire setting. And this is where looking at someone's surroundings or even their relationships can play a huge role into the behaviour. Maybe sometimes people may have come from a background where other people engage in fire setting, but not in maybe a helpful or a purposeful way, such as some cultures in terms of lighting fire to be able to survive, but to be able to cook food. But maybe witnessing fire as a way of destruction or a way to express themselves. So that is how they've learned how to deal with certain things, because that's what they've seen growing up. Or it could be about in terms of their environment, in situations that make them feel powerless, to feel alienated maybe from other people around them. And maybe this can influence someone to feel that desire to set fire, to maybe be heard or feel connected, or to create distance from other people. So as you can tell, I'm sure that it's, it's not clear cut. There are so many different ways of why people do set fires. Then thinking about social isolation. So sometimes people maybe lack a social connection. They may feel ostracised or marginalised within society or maybe within their own community. And fire setting can be a way for people to feel, as I said, to feel powerful. But in order to maybe gain attention, but not in an attention-seeking way as kind of I suppose a dismissive way but being able to get some sort of reaction from other people to be able to feel seen to be heard by people in sometimes in a world where they may feel completely powerless so it, it, with that it can also be thinking about that with the powerlessness and with that that it can be sometimes about seeking um attention but in a way to maybe gain revenge or retribution particularly if someone feels wronged by another person or perhaps an organisation or a party or something in their environment. And fire setting can be a way of maybe getting even or getting their own back. 
And then if we think about looking at those that behavioural triggers, so sometimes that you've got all of these factors that are going on, but obviously not everyone solves things by setting fires. So sometimes when people go through a stressful event, so it could be maybe a loss of a job, a breakup of a relationship, that sometimes that setting that fire can be an impulsive reaction to that, that situation that they're in. And so for some people it can be really impulsive, other people it can be premeditated, kind of waiting for that, that right moment. So whatever the reason that someone may set a fire, I hope that this has given you an insight into the, the multifaceted way that it, it can be understood. And it should be understood because even though it can be seen as just a simple act, it is rarely a simple act. There are more things that we need to unpack and understand with it. As always, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments anything else you'd like me to cover. Thank you and take care.